What is going on guys, Sean Don coming back with another technical analysis. Here we have Miller Campbell, the newest STTC online <clears throat> client. He is a uh, community college guy looking to work his way up to an NCAA institution. Um, just a freshman, 18 year old, so young, fresh, new to the hammer. I think he did a little bit in high school, so let's take a look. Um, <clears throat> so Miller, I think this was definitely the best throw of the three that you sent me. Um, much more controlled, pretty solid posture, good connection, good tension, good rhythm, relatively speaking. Um, the first video you sent me you just looked a little bit rushed, and the second video it had a little bit of a weird. The third video had a little bit of a weird. It's just harder to see things. Um, but yeah, so let me break this down a little bit more so you can see what I want you to work on with this first throwing program. So, once starting off on the right side with the ball, and I'm speaking from your perspective, um, it's all good. Um, I think the one problem I have with that is that you can see the hammer goes from very low to very high, which will then also go back down to very low over there. Uh, I'm a fan of um, keeping your hands up and keeping your hands out and having a little bit more of a flatter orbit in the winds and the entry in the first couple turns. Um, when you're only doing three turns, it's not uh, as big of a deal, but just some food for thought. Um, so on this first little preliminary swing, really try to uh, sit your hips down a little bit more, keep your chest up, shoulders level, bring the ball out and forwards rather than just straight up over this left side. Um, you kind of want to see this wire angle a little bit more uh, parallel with the ground and then same thing over on the, as the camera comes around your right side, you want the hammer to be out a little bit more instead of dropping so much. Um, flattens out a little bit more there as you can see, which is good because then as you come through on entry, eh, it's not much flatter, but um, so, yeah, that's just kind of some food for thought on the wines. Uh, like I said, the first video you sent me, the wines look rushed, like you were trying to go fast. Um, like I said, I want the wines to be kind of slow, strong, and deliberate. Um, so make big circles, flatter, like I said, um, and then try not to rush it because I want you to learn how to accelerate in the turns, not just in the wines and the entry. Um, to really learn how to throw a hammer far, you need to learn how to accelerate with the turns, which in this video, I think you're pretty close. Uh, we'll see as you uh, go, as we uh, proceed through the throw. Um, but yeah, especially as the hammer comes around here on the entry, like I said, reach your hands up and out, especially out towards 270. Um, you're pretty centered. You're shifting back to your left side, which is good. But yeah, your elbow is pulling down, your hands are just very down. You want kind of your hands a little bit more up at chest height maybe. Uh, so like I said, reach up and out to the right side and then just be nice and patient through the entry, which you do a pretty good job here. Like I said, that uh, for coming off the heel turn, you do a good job of keeping this left side stable. Um, left shoulder a little bit higher in entry, not a big deal, but you're square with the hips, square with the shoulders, balls a little bit behind. Not the biggest deal, you could be a little bit more patient. and then. Like I said, this is pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of lag here with the right foot. It's looking, it looks like it's going to start turning with it. And then it kind of pauses a little bit. As you can see, this first turn is really initiated by the left foot. Um, when you really want to have this right foot turning just as much as the left foot does. Uh, so try to get that right leg working a little bit more with the ball. Um, uh, this left side kind of pulling and flopping a little bit, as you can see here, that little shift. Um, that's kind of why I think the other throws were not as good. I think the third video, you you were kind of shifting down the left side of the circle, whereas this one's a little bit straighter, because I think, like I said, the turns are better. Um, so you catch. Single support, uh, like I said, you still you rise up a little bit with the ball, and then you kind of drop with the ball. It's very subtle if you look at your hips. Here, you can see your hips start there, they rise up, and then come down with the ball. You want it to kind of do the opposite. As the ball rises, you want your hips to go down. As the ball comes down, you want your hips to kind of go up. 
Um, wait, did I say that right? I don't know, I can't rewind, but um, yeah, you want to be doing the opposite. So at this point, you want to kind of thinking about being lower on this left leg, kind of dropping onto this left knee towards the sector. And then as the hammer comes down and you catch, then you want your hips to kind of work up into the hammer, which they do well right there. And then see, so your turns after that first catch, that first single support are much better. I think you could just iron this entry out a little bit and that would help. Um, really try to reach the hands out a little bit more over here to the left. Uh, like I said, it kind of looks like you lift up over that left side road and just letting the hammer go around the left. Um, which contributes to the ball kind of pulling down here. And then you kind of got to fight out of it, which you do a decent job of. But you catch early. Posture's not too shabby. Your right hip could be a little bit more underneath you. But uh, you're still square with the ball, which is good. Patient double support. Like I said, I'd, your hands kind of work down a little bit, it looks like. And then they're going to go up. As you can see, the shoulders and the hands go up. But... Your lower body's doing a better job working here. So that left heel comes down, grounds nice and early. You're patient. Same thing, you get through zero. This is a really prime position right here. I dig this a lot. If every turn could look like this in every throw, that's kind of the goal. Um, from there, you can still see that left leg has a tendency to go a little bit early. This right leg's doing a better job of keeping up, but still got to work that a little bit harder. Like I said, left foot's kind of pointing down the left sector line, or what would be the left sector line while well, the right foot's kind of back at 90 or maybe just before, and the ball's somewhere in between. You want that right leg and left leg all kind of in the same direction as the hammer. Excuse me. Oh, just drink some protein shakes and, yeah, a little gassy. Um, but, yeah, here, after that, your right leg does a good job of going with the hammer. Really, once again, nice position, square shoulders, square hips, level, facing the ball catch solid position solid posture right hip is underneath you hips underneath you shoulder is still level you're not getting pulled forward at all a little lean as you can see as the ball comes through zero leaning back away from it you could be over this this left shoulder could be over this left foot just a little bit more but really not too shabby uh, i think because that happens you are a little bit heavy on this right foot your left side is going to be a little bit more active which same thing, left foot kind of flops open a little bit more, right foot's pointed at zero, left foot's pointed at 90, ball somewhere in between, like I said, that right leg and left leg need to work together with the hammer, the whole left side, right side of the body needs to work with the hammer. Um, but then same thing, now you're kind of dropping, see, so now this is the right kind of hip movement, so hips are going up as the ball's going down, and the ball goes up, hips are going down, square, level, very good here catch solid posture very solid posture and then you come through on the finish really nicely so yeah like i said this is a really solid throw but um some definitely definitely some things you can still iron out um especially if this is uh kind of one of your rarer throws um like i said i think if you can make every throw look like this it'd be pretty solid and then we can tweak some things in the winds and entry and turns that would uh, make a big difference. So, uh, just one more run through. Like I said, flatter winds in orbit, at least uh, through the second wind and entry, and then just really try to work that right leg with the ball more. Uh, and try to control that left foot from opening too early. And like I said, change, try to change the, do the opposite thing that you're doing with your hips. Uh, so, like I said, you want your hips to kind of drop through this area right here. Um, but then, yeah, after that, things are pretty solid. Like I said, you still just got to control that left foot. Otherwise, things are pretty good. Lots of potential here. For this only being, uh, you know, early in your hammer career, I think you have some good potential. So, uh, you're 6'2", 225, gets you a little bit stronger. And I think you'll be able to crush your goals, no problem. So, let me know if you have any questions. If anybody else out there would like a technical analysis, go to my Instagram, SD Throw. Shoot me a message. Comment down below in the comment section. Let me know if you want a technical analysis. Email me at sdonley757 at gmail.com, and we can get to work. So thanks for watching, Sean Don. Peace and out.